Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is episode four on the MOOF server. And I have been busy in between episodes. As you can see, I have been hard at work because I am dropping stink, <laughs> stink bubbles everywhere. So I really need to take a shadow. One of the things I did was collect all my skeleton horses that have been hanging around the place. There are 11 of them, I think. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But anyway, we've got them in the one spot. They're not going to wander off. There might be a few more that I haven't found yet. So as I find them, I will I'll put them in this little pen here. So yeah, it's not really, you know, I haven't really not had a shower. It's this turtle shell with the water breathing that puts off those particles. So if I take it off and wait to 10 seconds, we should be um, back to our normal particles which there are some, but you don't see them very much. I might turn particles off, I think, because or down, we'll see how we go. So the other thing, obviously I got my turtle helmet and the way I did that was I quickly built a little turtle farm. And by quickly, I mean, it took about, I don't know, 15 minutes to make the farm and about six hours for the turtles to hatch because a few people were on the server they kept on sleeping through the night and when people sleep through the night the the eggs don't hatch so i seem to have a problem i've got a bit of a turtle infestation now so this is we've got a couple that aren't hatched this is the farm that i built and i was hoping to jump up there it's it's a standard farm that's been around a bit, but it was doing my head in because the turtles couldn't get out or they couldn't get out quickly. So I chucked these end rods here and they can sort of jump up on the end rod and get in and out. So that fixed that problem. So yep, turtle farm done. And I was here for so long, I thought I might as well make use of my time hanging around here. So I've been smelting up some kelp and turning the kelp into kelp blocks. I think we're even, uh, where did I come from? We're even stacked up a little bit. So kelp blocks are, are a pretty good thing. I might at some point make a bit of a, an automated kelp farm, but for the time being, I just jump in there and break them, collect them and chuck them up the top here. And yeah, it, it powers itself albeit manually at the moment, but it powers itself. So in this episode, we are going to build a iron golem farm. So I've been having a look at the design. Doc M, I think, is the one who's come up with this design. So I'm going to find out where I'm going to put it. And then it should be a bit of fun because I think the first thing we need to do is catch a zombie and put him in a cauldron. So if that's not... Um, words or lyrics to a song it should be so let me go off and try to decide where I'm going to put this thing and maybe build some form of like I think just rails running around with a with a card on it and I'll just you know, get a zombie to chase me into it I think that might work so let's how we go with that I'll be back hopefully with a zombie in a cart so here is my zombie catching creation I've just been repairing my tools uh, I don't no, if I want one with armor. Probably wouldn't matter. But anyway, there are plenty over here. So let's see if we can get them. Oh, I don't like to walk over tracks. Okay, first failed attempt. Oh no, I got one. Okay, record our zombie. Now the next challenge is working out where he's going to go and getting him to sit in a cauldron. But he'll be fine during daylight, I hope. Yeah, I was just wondering if he'd hit me. Uh, not a good thing actually because I've got the, um, what's it called? Thorns. Okay, let's try and get him in a cauldron. I forgot one uh, important thing and that is to name him. So I've got a name tag here called No Brainer. Let's see if I can name him without him hitting me. And that seems to be easier said than done. Why can't I name him? There we go. All right, he's named. 
All right, so that means he won't despawn. I'm not sure if he would have despawned in the cart, but giving him the name, he'll need a name tag, I guess, anyway. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the farm over here on this little hill. It needs to be 20 odd blocks up in the air. So the iron golems fall down and quickly go out of range of the farm. So I imagine that I'm gonna to have to rail him up so i'll just be doing a little staircase up i might go 30 blocks just to be on the safe side okay everything is prepared we're just about ready to go just waiting for the sun to go down it's quarter past four currently he is in there because well i hope he is all right we are ready to go i don't know if when i place this one here he will take that route but we will see no all right i gotta break this one over here it's kind of what I thought, but you never really know. And that wasn't meant to happen either. Because he is going to hit me. Let me take my armor off. Stop it. Stop hitting me. Alright. Now I got to break both of them and replace that one good effort <laughs> and he's off let's go see what happens now so i think up the top there i can maybe break one thing i didn't think of is if he comes back no i think i can break his is uh, the tracks underneath. So I'll probably switch the hitboxes on. How cozy are you in there, buddy? Let's just switch hitboxes on. All my tools are all over the shop from that little adventure we had. So I am hoping that when I break that, he's just gonna fall in there. And... I think I might not be completely prepared, but I might just put that and that out here. So it limits him getting out. All right, let's see. Right, that wasn't what I wanted and he will die when the sun comes up. So I don't know how I'm gonna get him in there. Uh, we might need another another go at this. Can I get him back in the minecart? I don't want him going down there. Buddy, you're in a bit of trouble there, and I don't have enough blocks to be saving you. I think No Brainer might have to become No Brainer 2. So he popped out over here. get him to go I don't know why he's not hitting me maybe because he realizes I'm trying to save his life come on buddy well he's trying to end mine okay this time, I'm not going to give him anywhere to land. How do I do that? Get rid of all of these. Can I still reach that? I think I can. 
I might put that on because I don't really like rails. Okay, let's try again. Okay, well he's in there. He's not in the cauldron. Uh, I don't think he's coming out. But I don't know how I'm going to get him in the cauldron. I don't know. I'm going to have to go and think about this. Okay, so I think... Um... <laughs> I think snowballs might be the way to go. So... I mean, no brainer. We're going to catch you again. Capture you again. Before the sun comes up. So let me go. Bang, bang. Do I have a minecart on me? Yes. All right. He's on there and his friends are coming. You know what? I might just capture his friend as well. Ow. As a backup plan. All right, got them both. I'm going to... I'm going to go and find some snowballs. Okay, <laughs> that didn't go to plan either. I need to go find another no-brainer and my backup plan I didn't give him a name tag, so he despawned, but I did get snowballs. See, here they are all over the floor. Let me prepare for round three. Okay, we are ready for attempt number two. Night has come and I have snowballs. I have taken my armor off so the thorns don't hurt him if he attacks me. I have food. I have a name tag. We are ready to go. All we need is one zombie. What if he died? Are you able to get up here? No. Let me help you. Oh, we got one with a. Oh, we got the whole family. Forty. Wouldn't mind the. Right, let's try and get the zombie villager. Ow. Alright, buddy, come over here. Bring your block with you. Got him! Name tag, no brainer two. Name tagged. All right, to do this next bit, I'm just gonna move the cat off the keyboard. You sit there, Billy. And once he goes past. That wasn't very nice. Okay. Now I know you guys in the comments are going to say all you got to do is get the villager, blink three times and he's sitting in the cauldron. And I am doing it the hardest way possible. But... Hey. So, what's my plan of action? 
put a block there so he can't get out. Number one. Okay. Get rid of the minecart. Hope that he stays in the minecart. Alright, let's try and get him back in. Sorry buddy, but you hit me first. All right, new plan. Get rid of these blocks. Can he go up there? I don't know. That can go. All these can go. I'll put that back. Let's try. Get rid of the rail. Oh, I was really hoping you'd just drop in there. If I get rid of that, he won't come after me. But let's see. So these shouldn't hurt, I think. He is in. Is he staying in? He is staying in. All right. Let me switch those things off because I will forget. Okay, I've watched the video and I think this is just about all I will need apart from some villagers. So we're going to take this over and start to build and you probably notice I had a stack of scaffolding in there i think scaffolding is going to be my friend so i will probably get some scaffolding going up there but i'm going to try and record this on replay mod so we might be able to see it from a, a third person point of view so let's see how we go So I think this is it just about done. Um, I changed out, I saw in the comments that uh, Doc M had all different sort of um, tools, workbenches, and people were saying that they were suffocating in some of them. And so I've just put the composters in. So the next thing will be to Get the villagers over here. Haven't really thought about how I'm going to do that. Or how I'm going to get them in there. I haven't put a, a slab on the top of that one. So I, the server's about to restart. It does that once a day. So I will, and that's not meant to be there, but that's okay. I'll make use of it. I will let it restart and... And I can put water in there. You know when I said it's finished? Yeah, maybe 80%. No. All right, now I think it's ready. Okay, so I managed to get the three of them in there. So I think I've worked out the technique, but what I want to do just in case, cause if night falls, they might jump into their beds and if they jump out, they might land on the scaffolding. So I'm going to demolish the scaffolding and 
pick up all my little bits of junk. But for scaffolding breaking is fun. Let's go for it. Okay, that's number two coming in. And so what I'm doing is just bringing him in and up the top, knocking him back down into a little fake floor and then going to get another one. And I'm trying to do it all before sun sets. The next stage is two and I'm running in the wrong direction is to remove the covers from I don't have Optifine on this is that all right yeah I think so is to remove the covers from the zombie villagers so they start getting scared by him and then I think we should start seeing some iron golems fall So let's release Okay, so I think as the cat jumps up I gave him a sword to make him even scarier let's Just go over here so I can have a go at those ones there All right, I think that is the um, the farm done. Now we just have to wait and see if we get any iron golems down there. All right, this is no brainer three and still nothing. So the only thing that I can sort of see is the, the villagers are only looking in this direction. I think it treats that as a village. They've also got one over that direction. Okay, I don't know why this isn't working, so I am going to relocate it. The other bit of good news is I was about to rebuild an iron farm way, way over there into the future, and I was looking at the videos and I discovered what the issue was. Okay, everything is intact. Okay, I discovered what the issue was. So let's run over here. And when everything comes in the render distance, you'll see I have an army of iron golems. So I noticed when I was re-looking at the video what my mistake was. So I've had to reduce the length of this. We might not be able to get super, super close, but there's a couple of more people coming into the um to the family so what the problem was is that slab there i had one lower and what that meant was that these guys couldn't bob around and see this guy that's all it was i was just about to rebuild go through all this torture again but i just noticed that that was the problem and everything is going well I'm almost at full capacity down there. So I'm going to have to work out how to deal with these guys. Well, it looks like I've discovered a slight little problem. I don't know. I think I put wooden blocks there or something. So they're obviously spawnable. I'm going to have to get over there and, um, and fix that up because that basically and effectively breaks the, the, um, the farm. Well guys, before the phantoms get me, it has been quite a long episode, this one. And the iron golems are a bit noisy in the background, so I should turn them down. They are very noisy. I just wanted to say that one other change I needed to make was that glass block there, because at one point an iron golem landed on that, and that messed up the server. 
but it has been working reasonably well. I haven't been AFK at it, but it's it's returning quite reasonable results. Here comes another unhappy customer. And for some reason, cats seem to be all over the joint. So I've got a little brown stripy one and a white one over there. Let's get over there. It's away from them, it's too noisy. So that is a long episode. It was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. If you are new here, please remember to subscribe so you get notified if you hit that bell of new content when I put it up. And I will see you in the next episode. And actually, just before I go, there's a, a supplemental video going up of me doing a raid. It's the first one I've ever done. I was confused. I didn't know how it worked. So if you wanted to watch that, it will also be coming up about the same time as this video. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.